In this video I'm going to show you how you can protect your download page or any page that you want from the search engines. Now if you don't do this your download page could get picked up by the search engines and people can do a simple search and be able to find it. Now there are two ways that you can go about protecting your page but one of them no longer works properly because people have figured out how to find it using a, another search engine. And what they do is they use Alexa, and Alexa will let them get around it. And I'm not going to tell you how, but rest assured that a lot of people know how to use Alexa to find a download page. Okay, so let's go over the two methods now. Now the first way is to put a line of code in your download page, in the meta tag section. So you will see a header and a slash header. Let me just show you here. Okay, so at the beginning of your web page, you have header, and you have a header section, you have a body section. So if we keep going down here. Okay, so here's the end of our header section, and here is the beginning of our body section. Okay, so all of our header meta tags go within here. Now let's go back, and let's have a look at this robot statement again. Okay, so simply by putting this line of code into your download page, that protects it from almost every search engine. But it is possible to find it through Alexa with a series of keywords that people search for. That's all I'm going to say about that. So a way around that is to use method number two. Now method number two is to use a robot.txt file. And it's simply a text file called robot.txt okay or robots.txt all you do is you put this code in here and these lines of code will tell you what needs to be skipped okay so we put disallow and then we put the path to the directory in there okay so simply loading this up to our public html directory or htdocs or wherever your websites go so they can be viewed on the web the search engines will look for robots.txt first and then it will go and look through here and see what it is to disallow and it will skip all those during the crawling of your site. Okay, so all you do is you put all of the places that you want skipped from the search engines in here. So you can just copy. Now I've included this file for you so all you have to do is change it to read how you want. Okay, so if we had a download directory Okay, so that would protect everything in a download directory. Now, if you have a subdirectory you wanted protected, but not particularly the root directory, say we had um, videos and video downloads. Okay, so what this will do is we'll disallow the video downloads directory from being actually scanned by the search engines but it will allow it to scan the videos directory so if you had your sales pages and videos and you had your download pages and video downloads you're safe that way because the search engines are going to skip video downloads this also works for Alexa so Alexa will skip it okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you what we do now Let's open up an FTP client, and I like to use FileZilla, it's free. Okay, so here's FileZilla. On the left side, you have your computer. On the right side, we have our server side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upload our robots.txt. Okay, now let me just show you something that somebody can do and how we can prevent them from doing so. Let's open up our browser here, and then let's go to that domain slash robot.txt okay so this happens to be on the domain online teaching videos.com then we'll type in robots.txt okay now you see what has happened here it, they can view the robot.txt and find out where we've stored our files okay so what they could do is they could take this now copy this and then put it into their browser behind our main domain name, so online teaching videos.com slash 
video slash video downloads. Okay, and then if they key that into their browser and they hit enter, it brings up whatever is in that directory. Okay, there happens to be nothing in it at the moment because I just created it for this example. But you see that they can actually see the content of your video downloads directory and they could swipe your files out of here. So the easy way to fix that is to load up a blank index page into each of your directories that are in your robots.txt file. So what we would do is we would go into our download directory. Okay, so video downloads within, within videos. And what we want to do in here is we want to upload a file called index.html with nothing in it. Okay, so what I would do is I would just create a text file. And it doesn't matter what you name it. You can just name it index. So that's all we need to do is we'll open up Notepad and then we'll just save it. And we'll save it as index. Okay, and it's a text file, but that's okay. Now let's refresh this over here. Okay, and there's our index text file. So all you have to do is upload that. And then let's rename it over here. Just put htm on the end of it. Index.htm or html. htm is the best one to use. Okay, now let's go back here. And now let's refresh this page. Okay, as you can see, all you're going to do is get a blank page. So all you have to do is make sure that you do that every time. Just upload a blank index page like we did here into your download directory or whatever directory you're trying to protect from the search engines because they will be able to see your robots.txt and this will stop them from being able to get into the contents. So all of your other contents in here would be protected from the search engines and not visible to the public. So that's it. That's how you can protect your web pages from the search engines.